We bring you non-entities in the news, a new and daring television feature, a stark documentary of life in America today, in the air, on the sea, and on the land, a passing parade of the most unimportant people of our time. Science marches on in the quiet little village of Sinai, Illinois. No one would ever suspect that medical history is being written, but there in the basement of a quiet, modest little home sits the renowned woman physicist, Madame Mercury, working quietly on secret formula 6943, constantly exposing herself to the dangers of chemical reactions. Madame Mercury fights on. Are you free to tell us anything at all about this wonderful new formula? Well, it's a little difficult to explain. You see, we are working with very minute particles. In fact, they are completely invisible, even through a microscope. Oh dear, yes, can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> and so, so naturally, this creates a bit of a problem, for in science, when you are working with something you cannot see, it becomes a little difficult to know what you are working with. <laughs> Dig? <laughs> However, I can say this. It will be a boon to mankind. That is, naturally, if mankind is still about. Madam, could you describe one of your experiments to us? Well, experiment 6943. Three protons in one test tube and two neutrons in another test tube, and we mixed. <laughs> that will give you an idea of the type of work we're doing. Thank you, Imogene Coca. Ladies and gentlemen, Non-Entities in the News is very pleased to be able to present a summary of the day's events at the United Nations. We are very fortunate in having with us tonight the world's most eminent authority on the subject, Dr. Argus Delapidus. Doctor? <laughs> Doctor, uh, I understand that the English delegate made an interesting speech at the United Nations today. Yes, he did. He made a very interesting speech. I recall it well. He said, uh, <coughs> My lords and ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> His Majesty's government is very confident it has fought in the honor of the all its forces and I have a and right to him. And heretofore we shall never cross and it be not beyond His Majesty's empire of the orphan decay and it's an orphan in India. And therefore we shall never cross and it be in a plain at all, never see all collide. <coughs> and uh, what did the uh, English interpreter say? Oh yes, he said, uh, his Majesty's government is very often to keep it often to very very often to keep it important in Navy tonight in India, very much often to keep it important in Russia, in a whole world often to keep it in India. Well, Doctor, um, they say that the the French delegate had a uh, an answer to this speech. Is that correct? Yes, he had a very good what? argument. I I respected his argument very well. He said, uh, Monsieur. Et rends petit ton jarret dans son rêve idiot, et rends ton cid dans ton zarret, ben je le rends, né, si le front est partout jarré dans son i, et né au hé, au rebichu, ben c'est ordinaire, où j'ai vu le bar, où j'ai fait rue, ben ben j'aurais, où j'aurais, où j'avais rien. And doctor, what did the French interpreter say to this? He said, anything is okay with you, is all right with us too? <laughs> doctor, the Russian delegate made the final speech, I understand, what did he say? Oh yes, he said, and uh, what did the uh, Russian interpreter say to that? No! Thank you, Mr. Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, tune in again next week for more non-entities in the news.